Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're doing a Let's Play and Initial Impressions review for... Symphony of Motion VR. A game released on the Steam Store October 17th, 2022. It officially supports the HTC Vive, Valve Index, and the Oculus Rift. It did release in early access... It normally retails for $15, so pretty cheap. And it's on a release sale, 10% off. I bought it at that release sale price on the Steam store. And I'm testing it out on the MetaQuest 2 using Link Cable. Uh, I'm going to go over some of the basics here. Um, the thing you should know that there's basically two instruments plus a looper. Um... If you all have played Virtuoso, this is basically the same concept. You know, there's actually a ton of these types of games in VR. Um, and I own several of them. <laughs> I can't seem to get enough of them. So, uh, what I like about this one is it's very easy. Um, but it's simple to use. It's easy. But at the same time, it's also very limited. So... Some of the ones that I like are more complicated, but they have a lot more going on under the hood. So uh, let me go ahead and show you. Obviously, you can quickly switch between instruments. Um, and you can quickly change between the different uh, sounds. You twist your hand. So this is a normal sound. And you twist your hand to increase the volume. In fact, let me go to the menu because... Uh, let me see. Oh, for whatever reason, the synth sounds keep going down. I don't know why that happens. Let me try that again. Did the synth sounds... No, okay. Yeah, for some, for whatever reason, the synth sound seems to volume seems to go down by itself. I did increase the volume, but when I restart, it seems like the volume goes down by itself. So beware of that. And there's different drum pads, but the drum pads you actually have to go into the drum menu. So you do that by clicking on the joystick. And here we go to the drum menu. Now you can add backing drums if you want. So if you want a basic beat, something a little groovy, Night Train, whatever that means, Fishy, Dracula, Hi-Hat. We're not going to add any backing because I like to do it myself, uh, but you can choose a drum kit. So again, uh, if you want a layered... And this thing does the same thing that Virtuoso does, is that it will auto automate your rhythm if you select that in the options. So to make it sound better, you can go to the options, and here we go to the metronome here. And it says, enable perfect timing. So if you choose this, it'll make it go along with the beat of whatever you have playing. Okay. So, you could also allow late hits and stop active notes after rec recoding. I don't know if that's supposed to be after recording, I think. It says recoding. It's just a little typing error, a little spelling error there. Okay. So, but what we are going to do, actually, is I don't like the click. There's a click sound if you need the audio clue, but I don't like that. There's also just a vibrate sound, and your motion controls vibrate. That's pretty cool, but I prefer just a flash. A uh, warning to anyone who experiences uh, problems with flashing lights. This game has lots of flashing lights. So, so beware. I don't want y'all to have a seizure watching my YouTube Let's Play. Uh, but let's show the different some of the different drum pads. So again, 
different drum pads, layered, metal star. And uh, actually, let me, let me show something a little different. Metal star. Drum kit, symphony. I think that's, I think that's good. So what I want to show with the drum kit is, look, light. So it does react to your the velocity, but you can also, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm turning it to one side. So it has a different sound. So, so there's three different sounds depending on what I do, plus also the velocity. Some of them are more pronounced than others. Okay, so let's go look at the uh... with the keyboards, it's easier to switch. Okay. You can also change the look. So again, let's uh, go to the. So you can change the modulation type, uh, and you can change to keys. I think we want keys. And by twisting your hand, you get volume. And by holding trigger, getting away, and going up or down or circle, you get different modulations, different pitch bends and stuff. Of course, you're limited to two notes just because, well, I think sometimes it's possible to get more than two notes just because uh, sometimes you just hit more than two notes, but normally you're limited to two notes. Just because you're limited to two trigger hands. All right, so uh, we can also change the view. Let me see. The view. That's it. No, that's the looper. That's the metronome. That's the tutorial there where you learn all the basics. Uh, here it is. So you can also change the layout. So this is dance. This is surgeon. And that's default. Okay. Uh, let's try dance. I don't think that works for the uh, drums. Or... All right. So let's uh, record something. So... The way to record is actually pretty simple. You just press the Y or B button. Before we record though, let's try to do something cool. Right, let's try to make it cool. Actually, let's just, let's just make that sound. So we're gonna... So we're going to add on top of that. And then we're going to add a different instrument. It's not, it, it'll probably not sound good. It's not sounding good so far. Yay. No one said I was a musical genius. Okay, so let's change the drums. And let's change the uh, rock. Let's sit, let's do the perk for no reason.
All right, so let's look at our looper now. So again, we got to click here and we'll see our looper. We got two drum loops going on at the same time. And let's add some synths now. Okay, so we're going to add some synths. And... Okay, so let's try to do that. Okay, it sounds pretty rough, not gonna lie. <laughs> it doesn't sound good. It, yeah, it doesn't sound good at all. But uh, we're gonna go with it. We're, we're gonna keep on trucking. I think we gotta, we need to add better drums. It's not gonna sound good until we add better drums. So let's go ahead, let's go back to drums. Uh, switch to drums. You can do it from here as well. But uh, we wanna change the uh, drum pads. Get away from the perk. Let's do the meaning. So we added several. <laughs> this sounds terrible. I not gonna lie, this doesn't sound good. But let's go to our loop and let's see what we can do uh, with this. Yeah. I'm trying to decide which drum loop sounds better. All right, so uh, yeah, not gonna lie, that, that does not sound good, but you know, we're gonna do our second try. This is pretty rough. I probably should have done the automatic rhythm option. So uh, you can also export. So if you want to export, you just push start recording and it'll actually export, export it. And then you just click stop recording so you can decide how long of the loop that you want to record. So let's try... Uh, So that was my first try. I think my first try was better. Although I think it, it can be improved. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, neither of them are all that great, right? So the way, if you're if you're tired of listening to it, you just press here. Okay, there you go. Ah, finally, 
the sound of silence. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I know that was terrible. I'm still learning this software program, this app for VR. Uh, I have to be honest. I, I prefer Virtuoso over this. Uh, but there's better ones. Uh, there's PC ones that just have are more robust. You know, have more instruments, uh, have more sounds, uh, where you can do more with the looping. The looping is very limited. I don't know if you guys could tell. Uh, but if you look at the looping, which let's look at the looping, you're very limited here. Now you can make it uh, pretty long. Um, let me see. I think it might be in the notes here. Nope. Is it on the... Yeah, so uh, you can reset the position, you can uh, move instrument, you can rotate instrument, you can set the volume for the instruments. Uh, and you can, it doesn't say on here, but you, you can choose... In fact, let me change the layout. Let's just go to default. Uh, recording lens instead of auto, you can choose one bar, two bars, four bars, eight bars, 16 bars, 32 bars. So, there you go, that's how many bars you can choose for your looping. But it's still very limited. Like, if you want to move certain loops to certain areas and then stop, you can't do that. There's other programs that let you do that in VR, so it's very limited. Uh, with what you can do. I mean, it is fun to export these and listen to them, but it's very limited by the looping, which is just very basic. So, and there's only two instruments, and the sounds within those instruments aren't varied enough. So, if I have to rate this, I would give this a 6.5 out of 10. Keep in mind, this is budget price. You know, it's only $15 normal price, and 10% off, you know, less than that. Uh, you know, $13 and some change. Uh, so, yeah, it's not a bad deal for what you're getting. If you just want to play around, it's easy to get into. And, sure, it can be fun. There's just other VR music creation software programs that are just more robust than this one. So, like I said, it's not a bad program. I, I think it's good for for the money. But... You know, there's programs like Virtuoso that I would say are just better that you can do more with those than you can with this. And, and where there's more tutorials and you can even listen to some of the community songs. So some of the features here are just missing that you can find in other music creation apps. But, um, I, you know, I bought this with my own money. I don't regret my purchase. No, it's fun for what it is, but it is limited. So, like I said, I only give this a 6.5 out of 10. It's good, it works, there's no issues with it, but it's just limited. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. If you enjoyed my initial impressions, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.